Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this video today. Okay, so I'm gonna be reviewing and demoing the brand new Morphe 2 brand. Morphe has a whole sister brand now, it is called Morphe 2. Well, not sister brand, it's kind of like their new line, which is basically a more fresher and younger approach to their makeup. It's more glowy, it's more healthy looking, it's more lighter, um, it's not gonna be bold colors and like heavy makeup. And this was in collaboration with Charlie and Dixie, which if you guys probably, I'm sure you, all of you know, they are famous TikTok stars. They are huge on TikTok and I have been watching TikTok a lot every single day recently but i'm not gonna ramble too much so let's just jump straight into the products for morphe 2. we are jumping straight into the morphe 2 brand so i do have two products only from the brand to show you guys today um nothing else really appealed to me but these two definitely did and first of all i love how simplistic the packaging is it's so sleek it's just so simple and it definitely screams to a more younger audience of course anyone can buy this and anyone can use this but i think it was more targeted towards a younger audience so this is the hint hint skin tint by morphe 2 which is their new brand and then we also have the morphe 2 wonder tint cheek and lip mousse which i'm very excited about the foundation i have in the shade hint of cream and then the mousse which is basically like a blush and a lip product in one is in the shade wish so i'm going to read you guys a little bit about the hint hint skin tint really quickly and then we're going to apply it to the skin this is basically a kind of i don't want to call it a foundation it is more of a skin tint that's how they are describing it as and it's basically just going to give your skin a little bit of coverage without making you look like you're wearing a lot of makeup and it's supposed to just enhance your natural skin just blur any imperfections even out your skin tone but give you a nice radiance at the same time and again not too much coverage so it's supposed to look very skin like it's supposed to give you just perfect flawless looking natural skin Skin. So the Hint Hint Skin Tint is a hydrating fluid. It is also water-based, which is great because it's going to be very hydrating. It is also sheer to medium coverage. So again, you can build up this kind of uh, skin tint. It's really hard to not say foundation. It's also smoothing and blurring, and it also has a naturally radiant finish. Also, on the plus side, it is also vegan and it's also non-comedogenic. I can't say that word. I think that most of the shades of this are already sold out and this so i'm really sorry if you guys are watching this and like the whole collection is sold out this is what it looks like this is the bottle this is the packaging as you guys already saw in the clips and it has a dropper which is great i absolutely love that it has a dropper you can control the amount of how much you want to put on your skin i am however going to go into primer really quickly this isn't a primer but i like to use it as a primer this is the fourth rate watermelon face milk i absolutely love this stuff it's very lightweight so it's not going to disturb with the product i didn't want to go for a heavy primer because i don't want to disturb the foundation this is a really really great product it is actually a skincare product but they even say you can use it under makeup, which is what I use it for. And this is ColourPop's sister brand. So this is the watermelon one. It's so nice. I absolutely love this stuff. So let's just go straight in. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Very, very liquidy. Ah! And it looks very dark already. I think it's gonna be too dark. It is very liquidy, so. Oh my God, it's really, really dark. I feel like it almost oxidizes as well. Okay, let's just go straight in. And I'm just using a flat synthetic buffer brush. This color is actually, this color is actually not bad. Oh my God, this is giving me a really nice finish. So you can see that I do have a lot of kind of scarring left over from blemishes. And so this is a good little test to see if it does cover that. Of course, it is more on the sheer side, so it's not going to cover completely. But I'm interested to see if it does blur out those imperfections slightly and cover any redness that I have. Which it seems to be doing. So this looks so nice. Uh, one thing I'm noticing as well on the back of my hand that it, it is drying really quickly. So I would just bear that in mind. I already see that it has dried down 
and it has left a really really nice beautiful sheen to the skin which i'm absolutely loving because it makes me look very healthy this is going to be a must if you have dry skin or normal skin for oily skin i'm going to play around with it a little bit more and let you guys know um how it feels on the skin and how it looks but let's see let me carry on applying it and also the texture is like super hydrating so it doesn't seem to be clinging on to any dry patches it doesn't seem to be skipping or dragging it's very lightweight it's not heavy this is so nice i am of course gonna powder a little bit because i just i want to walk out like this because i feel like it's a little too shiny so if you do have oily skin you would definitely need to powder i am blown away at how beautiful this looks on the skin it has just left my skin looking like skin but perfected of course i can still see my you know my scarring and my blemishes still peeking through which I don't really mind. I don't know about the wear time. I wouldn't know how long this lasts. They haven't really said how long it lasts. So I would assume maybe not a long time, especially because there isn't a lot of pigment in it. So I feel like throughout the day, if you do sweat or if you do get kind of hot throughout the day, or if, if you do have oily skin, then I feel like it will uh, kind of rub off throughout the day and it wouldn't last as long. But if you do use a nice gripping primer, then I feel like you can make it last a long time. I'm just absolutely loving the way my skin looks and it just literally looks like skin and you also get 30 mil which is amazing because that is like standard for foundations. I am going to move on to concealer really quickly and I'll just fast forward this part. I'm going to use the elf 16 hour camo concealer and then also to powder slightly which you guys will see. I'm not going to powder everywhere I'm just going to do my under eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me powder in fair. So I'm back and I have noticed that there's a little bit of patchiness right here. I don't know if it's like, you can see that it's just looking a little patchy. I don't know if it's the concealer and the powder on top of this skin tint, or if it's just maybe just the way I've blended it, blended it out today, but I definitely can see like quite a bit of patchiness. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Um, so I don't know if this skin tin works with other products. I still have yet to test that out in future videos as well and in this video, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. So if you guys do see a little patch going on, um, I can't fix it. I don't know what's happening. It's just the more I try to fix it, the more it gets patchy. So I'm just going to leave it. So we are going to go into the Wonder Tint Lip and Cheek Mousse from Morphe 2. So again, I have the shade Wish, which is basically described as a soft pink. And it almost looks like a coral pink. Like it has a little uh, coralness to it. It's definitely not like a true, true, true pink. And this is what it looks like. So you guys can see it's quite a small jar. It is very small. So with the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse, it is a multitasking mousse, which means you can use it on the lips and cheeks, of course. It also gives you a nice wash of color. So it's not gonna be super intense, although it does also say that you can build up the color. It is a very buildable formula. It also has a nice velvety whipped texture. So it's supposed to feel very velvety and moussey, and it's not supposed to be like a cream blush. It's not a cream blush. It's more of a whipped velvety mousse textured blusher. It definitely is pink, but I still stand by it looking a little coralish, like it has a, a coral hue to it. Ooh. There it is on my finger. It feels very, very moussey and silky, like silky smooth, and it dries down to. Wait, where has it gone? <laughs> It's like disappeared. Let's do a little more. So I feel like you would have to use a lot of this product to get some color, but we don't know, we'll see. Let's try it with a brush, but you can see a little pink hue on my hand. So I'm just gonna go in with that much. Let's just dot a little bit on the back of my hand. And, oh, I didn't do bronzer, but that's fine. Let's just apply. 
apply it to the oh girl I rub a little bit on the back of my hand just to take it off and then I'm just gonna buff this and just press it so it melts into the cheeks okay so she is pigmented she's definitely pigmented it also has a matte finish which i like because you'll get the radiance from your skin tint and then you'll have a nice matte blush because if the blusher was also dewy then you'll just be completely dewy all over this is really pretty it looks like a nice little flush to the cheeks it gives you a nice wash of color and it just lifts up the cheeks slightly i can definitely see this being like a hit for younger um, girls because i feel like younger girls just have amazing skin already and i just feel like this is just the perfect kind of makeup if you're starting to get into makeup even if you know it can be like i said for all ages so even if you are starting to get into makeup then a product like this is so easy you just need a brush you could even use your fingers and just apply it to the cheeks and because it's so lightweight it feels so airy on the skin and it melts in really nicely you don't have to worry about you know perfecting it and blending it out too much this is perfect for no makeup makeup days highly recommend if you're going for that kind of look so this is what my skin is looking like with the wonder tint blush and cheek kind of product i'm also gonna apply it on my lips right now so let's see it feels so good mm. okay my lips are kind of dry but oh this is so cute it looks so smooth and velvety it just looks very plush on lips is the word so i'm absolutely loving that Ooh, who am i i can't even tell let me know what do you guys think about my skin do you love it i am so in love with these products i think looking at it now it is slightly dark for me as you can tell but i could just go lighter with my concealer here and then i'll bring it down and i think i should be good and maybe you can't even tell Maybe you can, but yeah, I think the shade range, I think there isn't many options in terms of like fair skin tones. I think if you're very fair, you're gonna struggle because I think I'm quite fair and I still struggled with this and this is the second playlist. So that's the only downside that I would say. And also with the patchiness, I don't know what caused that. So I will have to play around with this product more and you guys will be seeing it in future videos, 100%. This is like my new go-to and I'm not just saying that. I have been looking for something that is, so, that is so lightweight but still gives me like a nice beautiful finish and sheer tint to my skin and even out my skin. And I just, to this day, haven't found anything that's like really wow. Apart from the MAC face and body, but this is almost like a dupe for it. Even better, I would say. I'm so happy about this Morphe 2 brand. I'm very excited to test out more of their products in the future and see their future releases. And I think it is just such a genius idea to come out with a more lightweight, um, you know, a lightweight collection from Morphe because Morphe is quite bold. So I absolutely love this more this more fresher and younger approach to their brand. And for the lip and cheek mousse, I absolutely love it as well. I love the color. They do have four shades. I definitely want to get all of them now. Um, but I'm actually loving this little kind of coral pink moment. I think it would suit a lot of skin tones. And I love that the lips look like my lips, but better. And it just adds a little plush pout to my lips and it keeps them matte so it's not shiny i love that they played around with the textures so some products are not too overly shiny and some are matte so you can balance it i'll have links down below so you guys can go check it out for yourself i hope it's still in stock but i think that is it for me so if you guys want to ask me any questions do ask me down below if i missed anything i'll chat back with you as usual and i think that is it for me so i'm gonna let you guys go now and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video Oh, 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 oh,